Out of all of the sports at Woodside High School, the most well attended by far is track and field. The beginning of the spring sports season often sees over 100 students packed into head coach David Hartford's classroom, all with different levels of commitment to the sport. Over the years, the team has garnered a reputation as a sport one place to easily put PE credits on their transcript. Woodside World reporter Stefan Sujanski looks into how this year's team is trying to change this stigma and what their season may look like. Let's be honest. We've all heard people talk about how easy track is and condescendingly comment how people only run to get PE credit. I used to believe the rumors, but now that I'm on the team itself, I'm starting to understand the runner's frustration with this unfair label. Um, it kind of bugs me, to be honest, um, because I'm just doing track because I enjoy running. Um, and I feel like it can be used as a sport just to get PE credits. Like, you can make it as hard as you want it to. That was sophomore runner Zag McDowell. While anger like hers is prevalent across the team, some, like junior Evan Farah, understand from where stigmas like this have arisen in the past. I, th I think, to be honest, in the past couple of years, we have got a lot of people um, that have gotten away with not doing a lot. Coach David Hartford agrees with this sentiment putting some of the blame on the turnover in coaches over the past decades. Well, basically, I'm one of the first coaches that have come back for a second year in like the last seven or eight years. Um, and that really kind of changed the team dynamic, being able to set standards and build off of the previous year. With Hartford entering his second year, participants like Evan are already starting to see changes in the sport and how it's run. Um, and I think the sport has progressed really far. Uh, the team has progressed really far in making sure that people are really committed to the team and doing the exercise and doing the workouts instead of slacking off. Uh, Alex Dangle here. Uh, Liam. Liam. Zoe. Coach Hartford himself has noticed a dramatic change in the attitude and character of the team since the previous year. Um, and already, between, the difference between this year and last year is night and day. The energy and the vibe is just much, much more positive. So we're already on that path. While well, some have suggested that increasing the requirements to be a member of the team could help fight this idea of track being an, quote, easy sport, Evan disagrees. Running is the sort of sport where really anyone can do it as long as you have a pair of shoes that function properly. And it's a sport that's open. It's a sport that's open to everyone, um, and we have such a diverse team that I really think that um, you can't really say, you know, uh, you you can't really create this idea of like an average shock runner because we're all so different and we all do very different things. So. Team captain and veteran runner Joe Balsama echoes this statement, arguing that track's openness gives people who usually aren't good at an event the chance to challenge themselves and make goals. When uh, people set their goals, they kind of like, they see that at the beginning of the season, like, oh, that's not reachable, but then at the end of the season, they're like, wow, I actually did that and I actually accomplished it, and they look back and they're like, I can't believe I did that. It seems that, regardless of what the school generally thinks about them, the track and field team hopes to continue to be a platform for self-motivation for all students. For the Woodside World, this is Stefan Sujanski.